um, from my perspective now when people see a proposed budget, and I know this is just me, people see a proposed budget from the Board of Finance, it's what each of us are supporting and are going out to now get feedback on. So if I vote yes, understanding things can get changed before it goes to town hearing or to referendum even at that point. I'm supporting the budget and the mill rate increase as is and how it's happening and how it's being presented. So well, I would that's my personal struggle. I, I would think it's not your recommendations officially until you send it to the town meeting. So I think the reason for the town hearing is this is where we are in the process. We want to gauge the public's mm -hmm. feelings on where we currently stand and give them the opportunity to, to voice in. Because if you notice during the town hearing, I mean, it's a direct dialogue back and forth with the whole board. Questions are asked, questions are answered. Uh, town meeting doesn't really happen that way. It's generally just the first selectman and the chairman sitting up there answering a few general questions. So I think if you have this much uncertainty, you should be taking it to the town meeting to get feedback from the resident. And when no feedback is provided? Then you can make that final decision at that point. But all you, if you vote no now, you're taking away that option of at least hearing what the people have to say at that point. Okay. I mean, you still have the option to, to pull it out. I mean, I would be disappointed if that was the case, but I think that's the best way to handle it. My issue is if we pull it out, where are we going to get the money from? We even have the option. You have no option. Yeah. You take your option away. That's yeah. The only other place would be fund balance. That requires a hearing <coughs> and a random, and that's just, that's just more work than anything else. I mean, if, you get a, if you get a clear gauge by the public and it gets shot down and nobody wants it and the, the question is overwhelming, you, know, you kind of know where it stands. And if you don't have an alternative plan to either lessen that money, you know, then it becomes an all or nothing. Maybe it comes out. The whole thing is to give the opportunity. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's, that's, I mean, that's the whole idea. Yeah, you give the opportunity, like you, like you said, if it's going to get, the, the budget's going to yeah. get shot. We, we've just talked about it, all different kinds of options. Do you yeah. reduce it? Do you take it out? Do you cut from here? There. That's right. You got options. Or unless that's, that's and, the great thing. You will have options afterwards. And the other and the other side of the coin is, as I said, between the 377 and whatever first or second vote or whatever may be taken, there may be some other idea or cost factor that lowers this number that makes it more palatable or something can happen. But if you don't take the first step, you can't take any steps at all. Yeah.